going to take you through a series of exercises you can do in bed, in the morning or in the evening, or perhaps throughout the day, lying on a mat or maybe lying on the sofa. So the aim of the exercises is to get you mobile and flexed. So during the night, your muscles become contracted and your spinal discs absorb fluid. So your muscles and joints become very vulnerable. So the aim is just to get you mobile and flexed. So we're going to start in a supine neutral, pubic bone, hip bone, horizontal, middle arch to your lumbar spine. Now, if you can bend your knees, they're hip width apart, pull the belly button to the spine, melt the rib cage into the mat. Now you're going to start with just rib cage closure. Lengthen your arms up to the ceiling and over your head, keeping your belly button core to the spine, melting your rib cage into the mat. So you're going to relax your hands, lengthen through the joints, lengthen your arms over your head, and back to centre. Keep the rib cage melted into the mat, pulling your belly button to the spine, and lengthen through the joints. Keep those hands relaxed. We'll do one more. Lengthen over your head, lengthen. And back to centre. Now you're going to imagine you have a marble in between your hip bones. So my pubic bone, the hip bone, is completely horizontal. I'm rolling the marble to my pubic bone to south, arching my spine. A big gap is between the mat and the arch of my spine, and I roll the marble to my belly button. North, back to south, pubic bone, really arching my spine, I'm rolling the marble to my belly button, imprinting my spine. So we're just mobilising the pelvis here. Arching my spine, south, north belly button, imprinting my spine. So the aim is not to move your legs, all the mobilisation takes place in the pelvis. All that movement takes place in the pelvis, and try not to move your legs. Roll the marble all the way to the belly button, pulling your belly button to the spine, back to your pubic bone, south, one more to north, and back to in between your hip bones. Now you're going to take your cushion away, if you have one, rest it under your neck and under your head. And you're going to push into your heels, squeeze your bottom, push into those heels, lengthen your knees away, and you're going to try and come up as high as possible, stretching out your lumbar spine into bridge. I'm going to slowly roll down, scooping my pelvis, rolling each vertebrae down to the mat. I'm back into supine, cubic bone, hip bone, horizontal. Squeeze my bottom, my glutes, push into my heels. My knees are hip width apart. I'm lengthening my knees away. It's not just getting your hips up to the ceiling. It's lengthen those knees away, feeling a stretch in your back. And I scoop my pelvis and roll down one vertebrae if I can, from top to bottom. And back into supine, pubic bone, hip bone, horizontal. Push into the heels, squeeze the bottom, the glutes, push into the heels. It doesn't matter if you come off by a few vertebrae, just come as high as you can. So you might have alignment from your knees to your hips, to your shoulders, or you might be slightly lower, maybe here, maybe even lower. You find over time you become more mobile and stronger and you'll be able to get a little bit higher. So I'm squeezing my glutes, pushing into my heels, lengthening my knees away as much as I can, hip width apart, and I feel a stretch in my lumbar spine, 
we slowly roll down one vertebra at a time. And back to centre. You hug your left knee to the chest. Right knee stays bent. If you're finding you're a little bit more flexible, you can lengthen the right leg away, hugging the knee to the chest. You might have a big bend in your knee, slightly extended or fully extended. You're going to hold the stretch. You can feel a hip flexor stretch, stretch in the right hip area, and you can feel your stretch in your glutes, your bottom, and your lumbar spine. And back to center. You do the other side, hugging the right knee to the chest. Relax the feet. You might be have a bent knee, slightly extended leg, or fully extended leg, feeling a stretch in the hip area, hip flexors. Relax the muscles, hug your knees to the chest. And back to centre. Now some of you might find it more comfortable to keep that little cushion under your head. Your arms are at T. My knees are hip width apart. Pull the belly button to the spine, melting the rib cage into the mat as you drop your knees over to the left and look to the right. Shoulders stay glued to the mat. Pull the belly button to the spine, melt the rib cage into the mat, back to centre, over to the right and look to the left. Keep those arms at T, shoulders glued to the mat. And back to centre. If you have some shoulder issues, just bring your hands closer to your hips. We're going to do it one more. Shoulders glued to the mat, knees roll to the left, back to centre and knees rolled over to the right. And back to centre. Now you're going to hug your right knee to your chest, left knee to your chest. Either hug your knees to your chest, you can have your hands placed on your shins, or underneath your knees and you rock from side to side, feeling a nice deep stretch in the lumbar spine. We put our knees down. You're going to hug your left knee to the chest and you lengthen your leg up to the ceiling. The right leg can be bent or slightly extended. We can feel a deep stretch in the hamstrings here. So your hamstrings are attached to your pelvis and your pelvis is attached to your lumbar spine. So tight hamstrings can change the angle of your pelvis, thus giving you pressure and pain in the lower spine, the lumbar spine. Now you're going to push into your heel. So okay, your right knee is bent and you're going to start to circle your ankle one way and then the other. Bend your knee and we do the other side. Hug your right knee to the chest. Lengthen your leg up to the ceiling. Left leg can be bent, slightly extended or fully extended. You're pushing into your heel and you're going to start circling one way and the other. Pushing into the heel, feeling a deep stretch in the hamstrings. Bend the knee, back to centre, back into supine, lengthen your arms up to the ceiling, over your head, and an arm circle, bring your arms to T, 